what Maya was talking about is interesting because if Herschel Walker does this, he gets his base out and he gets every last uh, person who doesn't care about his his past out. He still doesn't get as many votes as 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 uh, Kemp did in the election. In other words. Herschel Walker leaves conservatives on the table. He leaves some Republicans on the table. And in order to win on Tuesday, he's got to do something else. He's got to get some of them. He's got to peel them, get them out of their houses and get them to vote for him. I know what we're doing right now is we're getting our voters out and we're seeing it in the motivation and the long lines that we're seeing across the state. We are shattering early vote turnout records. I know you talked about the record from yesterday, but at the end of the day today, we even shattered yesterday's record. So we are breaking early voting records every day because Georgian understand what's at stake in this election. We understand that this election is about who is best and ready to represent Georgia for the next six years. This is about competence and character. And there is only one candidate in this race who can represent us, and that is Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock. So Herschel Walker is doing whatever he needs to do, but voters across Georgia are showing up in force to send Senator Warnock back to the U.S. Senate. So for those of us who aren't in Georgia and maybe don't get exposed to as much of the advertising as, uh, or, or, or door knocking that, that uh, Georgians would, we see a, an image of Herschel Walker that, that uh, suggests that he'd be an interesting United States senator if elected. Um, what, do, what, do, what are Georgia's, I mean, you don't seem to, to, you think that's the obvious conversation, that the more Herschel Walker talks and the more Georgians listen to Herschel Walker, the better it is for Raphael Warnock. In fact, one of uh, Senator Warnock's newest ads is just Herschel Walker talking, basically. I mean, what we know about Herschel Walker is the only thing he's been clear about in this entire campaign is that he wants a federal abortion ban. Herschel Walker is simply not ready and not fit to represent Georgia in the U.S. Senate. Look at his pattern of disturbing behavior, his lies, the bizarre statements, everything that he puts on display every day. That is not the character and the competence that we need in a U.S. senator representing us here in Georgia. You said something about we're turning out a lot of voters. How, I, I wanted to ask you about that. With all this record-breaking voting going on in Georgia, I, like you and I think come from the same world where record-breaking voting is a good thing no matter what it is. How do you know they're your voters? So we're we're looking at the Republican Party literally sued us and tried to stop us from having Saturday voting in the state. I stood in line for two hours in my deep blue district in this periwinkle state. We know that Georgia is a true battleground state, but in my district, in the fifth district that was once represented by the late Congressman John Lewis, I stood in line Saturday for two hours to cast my vote, something that the Republicans and Herschel Walker did not want us to be able to do. I agree with you. Having more access to the ballot is always a good thing, which is why we went to court to allow us to have early voting, and we're continuing to open up more early voting locations across the state. So this is a good thing for Georgians, a good thing for democracy, and when we send Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock back, it won't only be good for Georgia, but for the entire country. All right, two hours is not great, not the worst thing in the world. We've seen worse in Georgia. Are we done with that? I mean, how, how dispiriting is it? That, that in 2022 in Georgia, we still have long lines to vote. Are, are, are people still committed to standing in those lines and getting it done? I mean, it's unfortunate, but voters are showing up in spite of the long lines and the hurdles. Even though they shouldn't have to, they're doing it anyway because they understand what's at stake. They understand that when someone tries to take away your access to, to the ballot box, it shows you the power in your vote. Georgians are even more motivated to get out and make their voices heard after all of the attempts that Republicans and Herschel Walker have tried to do to make it harder. Even a unanimous decision by the state Supreme Court where all of the judges are appointed by Republicans, they sided with the people of Georgia to give us Saturday voting. And this is something that the Republican Party appealed to take this away from us.